you're from Chicago. I am. Why do you live in Chicago? Uh, I grew up there, but I grew up in the suburbs and I moved there uh, purely just for music, actually. Um, I heard about a cool rock club when I was in uh, school and then I would start driving into the city every once or twice a week and then I would go and like have my mind blown open with just like exciting music basically and then I couldn't couldn't leave. I'm from Atlanta. From Atlanta. But the band is from Chicago. And you're from Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Southern girl. With which music did you grow up? Well my dad listened to Beatles, Led Zeppelin, Rolling Stones, all the dad rock stuff. And then my mom, opera. And then, um, yeah, like Nirvana, Smashing Pumpkins. When I started getting into my own music, that's what I would listen to. But it was like my dad's tapes that I would steal. Eric is like a man of mystery, very shy, very anxious, very uh, private. He's a man of few words, but he also is uh, probably the wisest in the group. He likes to be at home. He doesn't like to be in crowds. He doesn't like to talk to people. He hates interviews. So it's funny that he is in the band, but he loves playing drums and, he lo and we love each other. All of us love each other. So it's like somehow it works out. He started playing drums for this band, so he had, we kind of started from zero to where we are now, and I think going from the last record to this one, uh, the stuff that he's like doing on the record is like incredibly impressive. One, two, three, four.
I see both Eric and Jason as like the glue of the band, which is funny because we might all see each other as the glue. Like we're very equal with everything we do, decision making, songwriting. Me and him both are like kind of siblings in music where we just both move around a lot. We're both loud, we're both show ponies. We share the spotlight, which is like dream come true for me because I love sharing the spotlight. Like when people call me the lead singer, it still makes me confused, even though people still put me in there, that. I'm like, no, we're... It's us. It's a whole thing, yeah. Emily, it's like, uh, yeah, like intuition, I guess. I think she's like incredibly intuitive. And I think similarly, she hadn't really played much bass. So it's a, another kind of thing where it's like, she winds up playing really cool bass lines that are just not something I would have, I would, I would make because it's, she's just coming at it from this creative place of her own way that she sees the world. So, and, uh, and songwriting as well. Like, I think she has a great ability to like, I think put feelings to words or something like that in a way that people can understand. Um, it's up to Emily, I guess, uh, about the first bass note, but I thought you kind of came in at a good place anyways. All right. Which one, uh, are you guys talking to us up there? We can hear you. You got me with Disappear. Oh. That touched me. Oh, cool, yeah. I still don't know why, I'm still looking for it and searching, and again, when I was listening to it upstairs, mm -hmm. probably the combination of voices, yeah. the blending of the two of you. I love harmonizing. So magic. That's my true instrument. I only play bass because I have to play something to have a foundation to float off of, but my, my voice is a true instrument, and then other people, me and Jason's together. I love it when we sing together. Like, it's so fun. It feels like, um, like when I'm singing by myself and I hit the high notes where like, I don't know if I'm gonna make it or not. I just have to like jump and be like, okay, I hope I hit it. And when we're singing together, it's like this sort of, uh, like a dance where we're both like in perfect harmony. And it just feels really good.
it for me, sorry. Okay. Thanks, everybody, so much. Thank you. Thanks. Bullshit. Thank you. Whew. Gets a little hot in here. Sun coming on in there. <laughs>